Hello. Welcome. Here we are live. We're just a little early for streaming with you. And this is going to be an amazing journey. I'm quite excited. There's so much going on that I have to share with you. And every time I begin to sit down before one of our transmissions, they're sharing more interesting information. So I can't wait for you to join us. But I'm not going to start till 12. But something you might want to do if you're on already is um, get an essential oil, like I'm using Young Living Frankincense because it's the time of the year frankincense was a gift to baby Jesus. Get some water because this is highly purifying and you'll, the more you hydrate, the more you're going to release. And try to drink a lot right before you begin even. And there's a number of ways that you can enjoy these journeys with me. Some people like to lie down. Some people sit up and keep your spine straight. Um, I like that you're comfortable, but you may pass out or not be knocked out by the frequency. So the more you sit, the more you're conscious. So it's kind of like up to you. You can always revisit them. They'll keep teaching you because these are channeled words that have wisdom inherent in the vibration and the light and the color and the codes that are coming through for you. So it's an ongoing education in a way, which is pretty fantastic if you ask me. Okay, so here we are at 12. And we're on December 21st, 2020 in this amazing time of the solstice. And this is a solstice gateway activation. And my name is Anjalia, your favorite cosmic shaman. And in, ooh, I've got my black drum here that I'm gonna be light language singing to you and often I'll blow into the side of it and it makes a reverberation. Or if I'm working with my hands in the transmission with a light language, I may not choose to use it because there's a lot of, um, inspired inspiration through my hands they said I'm, sometimes i'll pause because i'm listening uh, you may want to bring your uh, crystal or your master crystal and something else they mentioned is because we're also going to be working with your dreaming body that i these are my dreaming crystals i bought this for my cat but my cat didn't like it so i put my cr dreaming sleep crystals in here so this is my dreaming <laughs> unicorn cat body we all need one, right? Um, so I'm just going to begin. So what you can expect is you can't expect anything because it's going to be so creative. It's going to blow your mind. It always blows my mind. I love this job. So I just like to explain a little bit about who I am for those who haven't worked with me before. Um, my name is Anjalia Marisa Sheehan Kate Loy, and I call myself a cosmic shaman because I'm a multi dimensional channel healer, seer, journeyer. And I realized um, from my teacher that I'm a seer. I just thought I was very visual as an artist, but being a seer, I had this extra gift, and I, it turns out I'm a master seer. So I love to bring this master seer capacity to help you, to help humanity. And being a master seer, what it means is I can go timelines in the past, in the future, in the present. And it really helps if you're going multidimensional, it really helps with ascension because what do we need to do? We need to <laughs> bring heaven to earth, like the triangles of the Sri Yantra. The triangle that's um, moving downwards is like heavenly. The triangle with the point at the top is the earthly and we're moving together and we're creating this new uh, journey basically and that's why we use metatron comes and uses a merkaba the merkaba is this sacred geometry usually i have teaching tools but i i moved and i don't have my teaching tools of my merkaba to show you or the sri yantra but you can imagine it hopefully or google it 
but a lot, what we're doing is we're working with the astrology that's a fascinating astrology i'll mention quickly before we begin our journey and we're moving in our bodies so it's an outside and inside transformation and that's what we'll be doing on our journey also it's like we're trying to give you through this process of channeled transmissions an experiential understanding of this <laughs> inside outside journey which is pretty fascinating all right so i'm just going to talk a little bit about um, in my personality about what we're doing with this astrology right now and then i'll i actually pre-channeled a lot so i'm going to channel in um, my presence or higher self with a channeled pre-channeled part and we go off from there so you may feel a difference or you may not so here we are this is a winter our winter solstice gateway with this great conjunction and there's been a total eclipse at the new moon jupiter saturn aquarian alignment the two largest planet planetary bodies meeting saturn conjunct with jupiter at zero degrees and these are signifying our planetary move into Aquarius and the opening of the Aquarian era of light, which is also called the golden Aquarian era. It's something, you know, we've been waiting for. And this solstice from all accounts is the ceremony that is broaching us into this amazing gateway. So it's my incredible honor to be here with you. And the last time this took place was 400 years ago, but we're doing it. We're moving into the golden age of Aquarius. So this is also a very special time uh, with the Australian indigenous people who celebrate an important ceremony at Uluru, which is the beautiful red rock a sacred um, site in Australia. And this, which is this initiates a new relationship between the sun and the earth. And it calls for a new dream for the new earth and a powerful ceremony of realigning the rainbow serpent of the earth with the sun, dreaming in a new creation for all beings. And so we're actually gonna end up doing part of this work. And I realized unconsciously, I wore my rainbow earrings and my rainbow scarf and if you have anything rainbow, you might want to bring it with you. So there's just a lot going on with the astrology. And um, it's almost like you may find kind of like a sense of uh, either freneticness or anticipation or anxiousness or almost like you want to jump out of your skin. And my sense is that's because things are beginning to kind of get pulsated and pushed to the surface. And so you may notice, especially with the eclipses, shadowy anger um, and unrest. And with Mars conjunct with Pluto transit on December 23rd, that's like power and war energies confronting one another. And we probably will see this in society as it's already been building and kind of showing us um, this division and something just on a personal note is as you as a new earth shaman and your work coming into this new age you're going to want to balance try to balance because it's it's going to get rocky you're going to have some emotions and they're going to go left they're going to go right your masculine your feminine they're going to go in the, the shadow areas of the unfinished business and what's most important is to try to not attached to any of those dramatic motions um, but if you do see them as a teacher and try to go back to your flame and listen to those emotions really honoring them it's this phenomenal shamanic practice of like called feeding the demons a, a tibetan practice but you honor anything that comes to you and you learn from it and by the listening process it's a huge healing like I call my private session soul listenings because in and of it just being heard deeply, the soul begins to heal. 
And we're really working through a soul and spirit, masculine, feminine healing with the heaven and the earth. So, so I was just feeling this sense of almost like, also like something's going to happen, maybe a surprise, maybe a miracle. What could, what could this be? And there's been this sense of like a pregnant pause up to this time period, like almost like time was at a standstill. We we're in this bubble with COVID. And yeah, I feel it is. It's like this pregnant time. And that's what's kind of happening in nine months or a year that we've been in this interesting time period with the COVID. It's almost like a gestation. And so much has happened for humanity on a world level that you know, we all know something is up. This isn't your normal everyday life. Thank goodness, because we really want to grow. It's time to grow, right? So there's something being cooked in that cosmic womb, right? And a lot of what we're doing is working up, what are you cooking? You know, what is it you're here to cook? So what comes to me is this really deeper understanding of the birthing of a sacred butterfly. And inside the womb and the cocoon, you're, the caterpillar totally emulsifies, which is almost hard to imagine. And from within these DNA codes builds its new architecture. And what kind of creation miracle is this? And this is an amazing philosophy to, to ponder. The idea of having one structure going into a cocooning, emulsifying, and restructuring yourselves in you. So it's one of our totems for this journey because we've been gestating ourselves as a collective inside and outside. And I can smell it, rebirth is in the air. So this is a time to be. And up to today, actually. <laughs> and the being state is a divine feminine state. So something else, if you're not aware of it, the divine feminine has returned into this evolutionary push of the birthing of the new human that we are in the new earth um, in this ascension plan. And so there's a lot of old territory with the imbalanced masculine or the imbalanced feminine that we're also working through as we come into this new, new human, the new shaman, the new earth shaman. Um, so it's like the Hopi, Hopi prophecy prayer. We are the ones you've been waiting for. And it's your Christed flame that's awakening. So this is a new age. We're creating something new and unexpected and unique to this planet and to you. And it's equanimous, egalitarian, collaborative, and openly compassionate, accepting and honoring honoring of yourselves, ourselves, the planets, and all beings, working with unity, honoring, and peace. And becoming like the compassionate witness is really the game, the name of the game here. So anything that doesn't resonate is going to, with this kind of new belief system, of unity, honoring, and peace is going to start rising up because these are, again, inside of us and outside of us. Things that are moving with divine, the divine blueprint and the divine alignment. So you may notice like polarizations in politics, society, within movies, and this shadow influence um, rising up to be seen. And this is all part of the shamanic cleansing and purifying in the purge. And we'll be doing some of that today. It's an alchemical healing transformation, this butterfly dance of awakening. And some of you may be having ascension pains. Um, and that's part of what we also want to do is work with cleansing our body temple, raising our vibration. And as you kind of unravel these things and begin to really pay attention all the other things begin to leave that were causing problems and issues. And then you start to create this new cycle. 
So it is kind of like creation cycles of destruction and creation, things falling apart and things being rebuilt. Old cycles are giving way to new ideas and grassroots solutions and unleashing these bars of confinement and prisons. New decisions are meant to be made now. So let's talk a little bit about the journey and then we'll go on the journey. What happens on each journey is uh, Master Lord Metatron will be joining us and helping us to build our Merkaba. And it's the Merkaba of our body, our light body. And this is basically a sacred geometry ship of light that we are. And it's a great way to explain our being multidimensionality because we think we're just, you know, skin and bones and emotions as human beings in this three-dimensional polarized um, world, but really we're multidimensional and we're living on many levels, many lifetimes on different planets all at once. So it's really quite amazing. We are really quite amazing. And that's what we're gonna start learning. And it's my intense honor that we can, I can help Merkaba guide us with Metatron through this gateway into the next realm that we're entering into. So our journey today um, will be with a trinity of Maitreya, of the Ascended Masters, Maitreya, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, Yeshua comes in, Mother Gaia, and the ancient elders and guardians of Uluru. So I think we should begin. All right, so just take a deep breath in. And something I want to help share with you is that I use this tool called the alchemy breath that I received many years ago. And the alchemy breath is a way that you can say yes to what you're receiving because everything is given to humanity as an invitation, as a gift, but you must receive it. And there's this amazing idea that your breath is kind of like you communing every moment with yourself, with your heart, with your lungs, with Mother Earth, with Father Son, with the air, the wind, the fire, the ethers, the waters that you are. So when you breathe in, I may have you breathe, you're breathing into what I'm gonna call your Christed I am, your flame that's inside your heart. And this is your eternal signature, your eternal, um, this eternal realm that really you do live in. So by that vision of the flame, it's a beautiful way to help yourself understand really being heart-centered, flame-centered. Because what we wanna do is take the mind to be the heart and be one heart once more. So when you breathe in with your alchemy breath, that's why I like to use some essential oils too. You're breathing in and you're saying yes. And then you're breathing out, letting go of anything that's no longer serving you. And um, we may have a lot of kind of gunk that I will help transmute and we'll pull it off. And you may feel things moving and shifting and just keep breathing into anything that's tight or any pains that come up or any problems in your life or world, your emotions, just breathe into them and let them go. That's kind of what the breath is intentionalized. And once you say yes to that breath, it starts happening. You don't have to think it through, which is so nice, right? So let's take a drink of water. I'm going to use more sacred frankincense because it really helps to go right into a spiritual place. It goes up into the olfactory to the pineal and opens up their higher chakras. So let's just take a deep breath in and send your heart beams out to one another, all who are here joining in with our solstice gateway 
our creative Merkaba. Just allowing yourself to open into this heart portal around us. This great body of love light, a pink disc forming with our group consciousness. In this day, we work with not only our personal evolution, but our collective consciousness evolution and the evolution for the earth. We do planetary service in our journeys together. And so send our heart beams to that planetary service and send it out to the, all of our loved ones and to all beings on this earth that they may gather etherically with us and become that much more potent in our service. Beautiful. And let us open now an earth portal beneath us, connecting with our heart flame and our pillar of light, deeply now grounding into the earth portal beneath us as your crystalline pillar of light begins to vibrate and open up, ground more deeply to anchor all that you are. It's allowing a sense of safety, a sense of trust as you anchor into the heart of Mother Earth. And just send your umbilical cord down from your belly button down to Mother Earth. Connecting in into her great womb. And that in every moment you are being fed and nurtured by her great consciousness and her nurturing motherhood. That just as an infant, everything is here for you in the great waters of the womb of the great mother in these great rivers that are surrounding you now. And the great waterways of the earth are merging with us. And the serpent creation mothers are swimming in these waters now. Breathing deeply as we move now through the spiritual portal above. Opening up the spiritual portal, the higher dimensional communication crystal rings, the higher chakra system, the connection to the solar fathers, the temples of light. As Metatron has joined us and is with us, has been here. And he brings you into a greater sense of all that you are and his presence. Assists you in this knowingness, this fatherly trust Breathing in now to the sacred geometries he brings to you, brings to us. That he's helping you now calibrate, recalibrate. I'm going to do some light language through me for, for Metatron. 
He's bringing a transparent, reflective, iridescent Merkaba now. That's reorienting, reorganizing. Letting go of the old reflections. You may feel vibrations all over your body, which is good. He's smoothing out sharp edges on the outside edges of your Merkaba, like barbs, tangled webs, any warlike energy. It's almost being like dispersed out the ends of the Merkaba that this Merkaba cannot tolerate any of the lower fields any longer. Now he's smoothing, smoothing, especially at the heart. And he says, breathe into your heart, into the matrix of your heart. He shares there is a shattering inside this matrix as if it is made up of false beliefs, false knowledge and lies. He's letting go. He says, let go. Any troubles, believe they are not here. Let go. All troubles. And he brings in this almost like a force field of knowingness that you can begin to trust once more. He says he knows it's been difficult and you've worked very hard. He says he's very honored that you have joined our collective consciousness group Merkaba. And he's helping us to unwind and unknot some of the ancient territory that may not have been completed, but is ready to transmute, especially now in the thymus, the throat, the thyroid, the prostate, any toxins, physical, mental, emotional. You may want to move your body, allow it to shape shift itself as you may feel compressed and need to expand, breathe in. And this feeling of pressure Breathe in. The Azor Dor and Ham Hoer Jatanga J. Metatron says a new symphony is aligning now an archangelic, angelic chorus, choral cheerleaders. <laughs> we love that. Joy, bring it in joy. Juda Rita Uga, Juda Reinga Taaba, Salat Tink Rich Engway, 
to St. Alma Lake, which ain't got ching, which ain't got ching. Chica tango to the chew, chew cool. Shakinga, shakina, shakina, the ele, shakina, the inge, shakina, the inge, shakina, the kunga, shakina, the all, shakina, and no all, chicken naked, cow, cuckoo, chicken naked, cuckoo, shakina, the chuckoo, tikate, kama, chukite, kama, shukita, ana, na, chukita, ah, mama, chicken, and nay, may, nay, to own nay, tay, way, you, una. Kayu madu, kayu sik ne, kanato to to, omachek ne ketek una. Breathe into the throat again. Ooh, there's a small vial. Like an isope, isotope. <sighs> Breathe in, bean administered into the throat, into the thyroid, an isotope. And he says, this is very important from like nuclear fallout, toxins, waste, detriment, de yeah, detriment. And unearthly planetary substances. So this isotope is a healing and it's conjuring the light from within to transmute and dissolve any invading or toxic bacterial or parasitical consuming. So just breathe in. We don't really need to know exactly what's happening, but just receive and be grateful that this is moving out of us. And there, he's sharing this is part of a control device that was to create be created to to nullify to nullify your clarity of thought of word and of deed so we thank you just drink a little more water Now the sewing, like a new form of generosity and clarity. There's like air coming in. I mean, the air dissolve. Old restrictions. <sighs> Opening up neural pathways, the sutures of your skull, releasing any glue through the nasal passages, the sinuses. Any old hindrances. are releasing in this part of our purification ceremony of the Merkaba. We're sending this to a global clarification all around you. 
opening up the neck, the brain stem, the zeal point that's at the nape of the neck. The transmission chakra at the right ear, the receptivity chakra at the left ear, opening up communication, telepathic communication of the new human and all sentient beings. Breathing in deeply, clearing up at the sinuses into the brow chakra, raking and pulling off old negative belief forms and anything clogging your brow chakra, your third eye, pulling off massive Bleh. judgment. Bleh. Bleh. Bleh of oneself and others. Bleh. 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 Good job. Bleh. Good job letting go. Letting go of the back of the brow chakra to the unconscious. All the places that you've kept yourself small. Because now we go to the crown chakra and scrub. Metatron is scrubbing with tiny diamond scrubbing, circulating like sawtooth. Scrubbers, we'll call it. Divine scrubbers. And it's working on the crown chakra. <sighs> Do your breathing, your alchemy breath. Because now Metatron is helping us open up this band of light, this crystal ring. Halo right at your brow chakra, opening it up as large as it can go. Your telepathic chakra. And calling in the Christ light within each of those crystals to fully ignite 100%, to raise their octaves. to this new encodement, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, parsec. Now we're moving to the crown chakra ring around, ring of communication, these crystals. Looking deeply into each crystal evening out the left and the right hemispheres. Smoothing this communication pathway at the crown chakra, this illumination. And now moving back into the brain, into the hemispheres of the brain, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere and that they switch over. Again, moving into the base of the spinal column, right where it 
connects to the skull. And Metatron's bringing like a tapping, tiny Merkaba, tiny diamond Merkaba that's spinning in two different directions. It's very tiny, but it's, it's like moving through a glue. We're just pulling out that glue. Open up the sinuses again, the clarity, the synovial fluid down the spine. <sighs> now we move to the soul star above the crystal ring above of communication, crystal communication at the soul star, sweeping it, swiping it wiping it clean, clear, charging all the crystals with that Christed, Christed flame, rejuvenating, awakening in each crystal. Mm. Now we go into the corpus callosus, the bridge between the hemispheres of the brain, swiping and cleaning, clearing in a backwards clearing motion. Now in a forward clearing motion that this bridge may be clear. Holding the pathway open to the two hemispheres of the brain equally without resistance. Allowing now in a great peace that came in to all of us. A great calmness. type of centeredness. And as you breathe it through your chakra system, <clears throat> through the soul star, the crown chakra, the brow chakra, the throat chakra, the thymus chakra, the heart chakra. This peace and calm is moving through you. The solar plexus chakra. Stabilizing you. To the hara chakra. Below your navel and at your navel. To the sacral chakra. At the control chakras at the hips, the creation chakras out behind up to either side of the hips. The Amrita the gateway, the dreaming womb. Bringing a new crystal in form and format into the sacrum with this sense of peace, alignment, attunement, activation, and willingness. As we move down to the base chakra, the perineum, the root chakra, breathing deeply here into any murky territory An opening, a black onyx disc that allows to dump, let go of a lot of detritus of the earthly world, just letting it 
dump and be transmuted by Mother Earth, Gaia, Gaia Ma. Again, it's almost like being very tired. Just everything is falling down. Beginning to feel heavy, weighted, yet secure. Breathing in. Breathing in. Allowing this deepening of this spacious earthly anchoring. It's beginning to feel so much larger than you ever felt before. And yet a deep, deep knowing that there's so much more of you than you previously considered. It's allowing any sparkling diamond light moving through your body. This is part of the inner realization and the beauty of these transmissions, the experiential understanding that you are and who you are more and more. As now this vibratory pulsation moves down further into the link chakra at the knees, as if you are swimming in a great ocean, that you have this beautiful watery stem, that you're a a lotus pod. A lotus. Open to the sunlight. Above. Swimming and sitting gracefully with the breeze, the air around you. Feeling this drink of the sun and all the uploads into every cell of your body. As you open your petals of your lotus, to receive that the great wisdom of your lotus, the million foy, the petals, open in their deep understanding and connection as you swim in the waters in serenity. And the sun and the light reflects a deep reflection. And that this inner knowingness of this reflection brings you into it an attunement. of your consecrated nature as you now begin to feel deeply into your root that is not held prisoner but that is moving gently swaying with the waters with creation with the mothers with earth with the wind and air 
the moon, the cycles of the world. And you are deeply, yummily merging with the earth beneath with your rooting that has this silty, fertile soil, this fecund earth beneath you, beneath the water. And you move with your roots deeply now into the earth, feeling this synchronicity that this oneness with all that you are, this place that you have here and the sense of inner happiness that is rejuvenating. Giving yourself this permission as now rainbow serpent mothers move around you, around through the earth, beneath you. And we move into the dreaming body of Mother Earth. Inside the earth that our roots are adhered to this earth body. And we are also part of this dreaming body. That this Mother Earth dreaming body, this womb, is all part of the giant cosmic soup pot. The macrocosm, the microcosm, the inner, the outer. Our own dreaming womb is part of this greater dreaming womb of the entire planet and the planetary system that is awakening up together, the sisters and the brothers and all sentient beings. And there's a sense of the swaying and the rocking as the creation mothers are journeying and dancing and moving in such a beautiful and brilliant manner, creating textiles and geometries and patterns that are superseding anything that is not inherently in reflection. That we're moving into a greater consciousness, a type of new mobility, a sense of greater unity consciousness and the Mamo unity consciousness of Colombia, the indigenous, who will remember who they are and their guardianship with the earth. We're being imbued with this great inner alertness of our inner guardianship of unity and collaboration. Just allow yourself to swim in this womb of the great mother with the serpent mothers around us. Breathing into it. As we move to the next level and our Trinity guides, enlightened ones join us now. as we have been prepared for the greater journey ahead of going to Uluru. So Master Lord Maitreya speaks to us. This is an age, beloved ones, ripe for change. Is this not so? Well, what part will you do in the change that is most needed?
listen well to your hearts. Grow now, grow now together as a group. As our Merkaba matrix mixes, we will begin to guide you in a deepening of your own soul's journey. Is this not what the wellspring within you has called for? Focus your energies, beloved one. Be and become the butterfly building. Building its inner architecture and growing into a new form. We as your Trinity are bringing you several divine calibrations. Matreya steps forward and brings you an anvil. It is here upon this metal that you may shape, hammer, and forge. Use this divine anvil at your will center, the Hara, your Hara chakra. Breathing into this force of the divine, this anvil at your hara, beneath your navel. Bringing forth a deeper commitment and a focused energy that you may deliver, you may anchor, you may forge your new messages and gifts. Bringing in your power. That you may hone, mold, merge and mingle. That you are the architect, the artist, the sculptor. And we await your gifts, your creations. Take a deep breath in. Drink a bit of water. You may want to notate if you have any ideas, later journal about them. Now Mary Magdalene, Mary the Magdalene, enters our circle. Gather round, she shares. Come closer, my beloved ones. Step in. Come closer. Closer. Go inside. And now receive. Take a deep breath in. It is the act of receptivity that I invite you to imbibe, to drink, to fill beloved ones. Deeply fill. A 
bring you now a chalice. A golden chalice. The sacred chalice. is a gift that is always in the process of filling, filling up, filling itself full. It is never drained, never emptied, never emptied to the bottom. Drink now from this resource. It recalibrates the divine feminine within you. Drink now, beloved ones. Muhelal reta tahur pa ma buche. Kuku chana ta reta ne me kwe. Haluya he magwaye. A juju je na kalene kalenko kolo kuli. Aluhin kachon na karakareke no kishana makwe. How makuku chitapuku kuchukutuku tuku 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 kuku tuku kuku che matae. Racha cha 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 Full, filled to the dreaming brink of fullness, receiving the spirit and the soul sustenance, nurturance, generosity. Imbibe, beloved ones. Imbibe, the rito la la ria uduye. Ria uye hia huhu mahili. Kung magwa, kung gang je tengo te kai je. Drink of these holy waters, of all the waters of the sacred sites, of the Ganges, all of the waters, the Nile the great mothers. Mary Magdalene says, now I gently tap you on the forehead. As a new thought form takes hold. A new and more gentle, loving, spaciousness held for yourself. This opens a loving place and is an expanding your heart matrix. So you now you may receive these encoded divine feminine glyphs, these sacred geometries, these dispensations. A golden orb now may come to you. You may 
sense feel see a golden shimmering transparent orb before you as one of three gifts If you see the golden orb, just receive it in through all your chakra system. And the second gift you may see a golden template. a diamond shaped sacred geometry template before you. Just allow and receive its wisdom, its information, its medicine, its gifts. May it shape shift and transform your life and bring it into your entire chakra system spin it counterclockwise to the left 12 times and then spin it 12 times clockwise to the right Receiving these encodements, these divine feminine templates. Now, a third gift comes of a golden ankh in front of you. Breathing into this golden ankh that may be sideways with the bottom to the left or sideways with the bottom to the right. And if this is for you, this gift is for you, open your mouth and allow it to move with the circular eye of the needle at the top into your mouth. Drinking in the symbol through your mouth. as it establishes a new encodement of your pathway ahead and allowing for a more generous and delicious embodiment of your Christed I am, opening to all you are. Yeshua joins us now Yeshua with the Christ, we call forth is this beautiful golden beam moves down towards us and into the forefront. And if you are ready now, joins and enters you, embodies you with a great joy. Just receiving this great joy in this entering of the Christ within you that is your own reflection of you, beloved ones. 
and is clearing the way ahead as the divine feminine and the divine masculine now moves forward, comes forward. The divine masculine standing tall in a silhouette, bringing a new tenor, a new cadence that is being reviewed. It is being examined and purified. Take a deep breath in, beloved ones. Take this step forward to believe. Breathing in. Believing in who you are who you came here to be, breathing in. Who do you want to become? The best, most willing, most earnest and honest and genuine you. Believe like you know it, like you mean it, you are it. A most willing and confident being, standing tall in love, light, and power. As you build your threefold flame blazing now. A divine fire, a giant divine fire joins with you. In blazons. Suchi Mwakwi ye lutre tamaku ye a oye we ne name we moi to salu kuna ye emblazoning engulfing you in its holy transmuting blaze. Enjoying this emblazoned release of the old, tired, the old, worn out masculine. Breathing deeply. Releasing. So the new and empowered masculine may rise in its glorious ashes. Standing tall in your glory, this new peaceful I am is here. Salute it now, bringing it home, bringing it here, bringing it now. Your empowered masculine. Bless it be. As now Holy Mother Mary joins our ceremony. Holy Mother Mary enfolds us in her great arms. A cloak of gold and blue starry realms wraps around us. We are her children, she says, her wards. She adores us. 
and shows us a great star in the sky. One that is kissing another. They are becoming emblazoned in the sky above. A stellar message of compliance, relation, and compatibility. Bringing forth a new constellation of unity and peace. An era of what is to become, Mother Mary says. You are ready. You came here to do this. You will have what is needed. Fear not. Fear not. It is the impetus from within you to count on. Your inner starlight is being forged. Your inner starlight encodement. Breathe in deeply to your inner star light encodement. A starry night swirls in creation now, swirling all around our group Merkaba. Taking us now on a journey through the sacred portal Uluru in Australia. Metatron brings us now in our group Merkaba, our ship of light. Lifting us off into the starry night, our hearts as one. And in the center of our ship is this golden crystal. We are connected and communing with this golden crystal in the center of our light ship, our Merkaba, we travel in. We are connecting and communing with each other, with Metatron and the ship of light itself. Please send your heart beams into this crystal now so you each may be known and registered, assimilated, as we are the crystal now. We have merged in our one mind, one heart, a centered, conscious, and deliberate activator and actualizer of the divine alignment. We are attuned to this centering device. And we speed in the starry night across the way till we find ourselves near the sacred red rock, Uluru, Australia. Taking a deep breath in, as now we begin to anchor our ship of light near this red rock this sacred site. And as our ship lands upon the earth, our ship is dissolved into the earth, enveloped like in sand, just gently moving, being taken down into the earth. As the sand gives way in a spiral vortex, we journey deeper <sighs> down into the earth. acclimating as we go down and releasing any density. Take a deep breath in. And as we look around now, we are coming out of this corridor and into an open air inner earth realm and we see many beings have noticed us many small beings we can't quite see them and the atmosphere is red 
that a beautiful earth, like the air is the same frequency and there's a pulsation of the earth that is special to Uluru and special to Mother Gaia. And it's a great part of why we are visiting here. The sense of this excitement is like we are coming to a party and that our friends are welcoming us. Then two great red rock beans move out of the rock before us. These two guardians <laughs> present themselves. <laughs> so let us bow and honor these great guardians as we call to open the doorways to the temple of Uluru. <laughs> and that we may stand as emissaries of humanity in planetary service in this awakening time period on this magical solstice gateway. Let us stand before these guardians with our open hearts and let them see you in your truth, beloved ones. There is beautiful beings beside each one of us. We are held in a semicircle with the ancient guardians before us of red rock. And they look into our souls and see we are pure. They see we have come a long way for this festival, this ceremony. And they send messages to each of you as we ask you to send your heart beams to them and embrace this connection and honor their divinity. They're looking deep into us and sending us encodements that we may further connect with other guardians on the earth plane. And as they're sending us these glyphs of geometries in the air, the rock gates unfold once more. And Metatron guides us with our Trinity into the center of a great red cavern rock, ancient, ancient temple. And we are being escorted by personal, beautiful, ancient beings that have an affinity for us and know us, have a lineage with us. We're guided into this ancient temple of the earth where there are many small fires burning in basins in circles. Around the basin edge is glyphs written in sacred geometry, light language. Each one has a different wisdom. And in the center is a giant cylinder with a giant molten fire that is blazing in a color that is almost impossible to describe, but it has a temperature impossible to describe. It has a force and a field impossible to fully understand at this now moment. It is like a lava form, a lava flame, a giant pyre that is holy. This pyre creates itself in one moment as it dissolves itself in the next in an ongoing creation and destruction, destruction and creation. As we stand and watch it, we circle around it. 
and receive tonal alchemical teachings from the flames and the flickering, from the plasma emoting energy of this molten lava. And behind us, we are spiraling and the smaller fires feed the back of our chakra system. And we are each being fed a different wisdom as we circle in this sacred ceremony. And this alchemical teaching from the great lava fire is allowing the meaning and messages of all that it is into every cell wall and DNA, DNA structure inside your being. And as this primordial contemplation begins to shape shift inside your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul, <sighs> take a deep breath. We begin to surrender, to dissolve, dissolving like the lava, emulsifying like the caterpillar, evolving, dissolving, evolving, dissolving, creating. As now the creation serpents are spinning around the outside of our circle in waterways, in a band of waterways, weaving a greater web, the rainbow serpents through the earth, through all the sacred portals, with the water element. As we're standing as an alchemist now, divining from your heart flame into this molten creation lava, standing still in this very now moment inside your heart flame, beloved ones, in revelation, in activation, in transformation. Transform, allow, be. No. Breathe now into your flame, your Christ that I am. Know yourself from within your flame. Receive this code of oneness. You are a blessing who carries this encodement, you see. You are to be the one. You are the one you have been waiting for. Know yourself now as one, one with all things, reflection of the greater good of all beings, the reflection of the primordial reflection of all that there is in this fiery, fiery encodement, allowing yourself to anchor yourself now. as the ancient and indigenous watch with excitement as this has been a long anticipated occasion, a ceremony of the soul, a long awaited emerging. As a ceremonial leader steps forward, bringing you a garland of brush roses, desert roses, in rainbow colors, presenting these garlands to you around your head, around your neck. Feeling this honor and bowing and gratefulness and receptivity, beloved ones. This elder now brings forth a pipe with sacred plant medicine. And the smoke is blown around you, bringing in the element of air and smoke, opening your sight and your dreaming body. 
This enters deeply, breathe deep and allow this shape shifting to occur. For many of you are dreamers. Dreamers, my friends. And you use your dreaming bodies. Some are asleep and some are looking to dream again. The plant medicine brings you into the heart of our mother, Gaia. And the rainbow serpent creation mothers join with us, helping to work this magic, to mold this clay, to awaken a sleeping remembrance of the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, our family, our parents, our brothers, our sisters. The rainbow serpent mother begins to grow. Now up through your pillar, like a tree, your own tree. Your serpent rising, your kundalini, accessing all that you are breathing deeply now to receive this empowerment this gift from these mothers. This connection to your earthly nature, your earthly communion, the mud that makes you. For some, you may feel the sacred primordial mud. For some, you may feel the root of your tree. For some, you may open your great tree branches and reach to the moon and the stars above you. Opening now, beloveds, to your dreaming body. In our sacred ceremony, that it may grow and take you into the timeless creation timelines with the elders the ancient ones dancing in this now moment of all time, a great dance of creation together in the firelight, the moonlight, the starlight. Begin now and see. See what the future may bring you. see for yourself, for others. This is the time of the great conjunction, solstice gateway, doorway to open. Cross over this gateway, we say, cross over to a new beginning, a more unified you, a more empowered, more knowing from the core of your being, from your butterfly nature, from the architect, the artist, the sculptor you are, from your heart matrix, your Christed I am. Be the one you came here to be. And we bow to you and each of you who you came here to be, what you shall do, how you shall dream in the new earth. Let us take a deep breath in and bring your hands over your heart in gratefulness for all you have received, all we have received sending this planetary blessing to the temple of Uluru and all the elders that helped us here, the ancient ones to this party, send it to all the sacred portals of the earth that they may communicate and commune with this dance of the dreaming creation serpents that we took part in, that we are a part of, that this dream begins to spread 
and the serpent mothers take it through the waterways. That each and all of us remember the guardians, the earth, the mother, the father, as a tree branching all realms, a multidimensional new earth shaman. Let us give thanks, give thanks, give thanks to these elders and the guardians, the ancient ones, the assistants. Thanks to Maitreya, Yeshua, Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary, Mother Gaia, and to your beautiful butterfly essence, your empowerment. May we give thanks and bow to all who helped us and to Metatron, who now gathers his little flock and we gently move backwards out of this ancient temple, bowing and thanking into the corridor where our ship of light sits awaiting. And we move into our seats on our ship connect our heart into the great crystal and Metatron and our Trinity take us back through the starry night, the shining day, spiraling into our homes, into our hearts, into our physical bodies, feeling your fingers, your toes, your tongue in your mouth. feeling blessed this sacred solstice day that you have journeyed through this doorway and are ready, empowered, seeing, clearer, ready to emblazon your new path. Blessed be your path, beloved ones. Blessed be. Blessed be all that you are. We thank you. And if you have any interest in private sessions, soul listenings, or new upcoming teachings, we're bringing some awakening teachings soon and some special small YouTube channelings coming up. You can check out my website at www.anjaahlia.com or email me at anjalia at gmail.com. Looking forward to seeing you next gateway. Happy solstice and holidays. Namaste. Blessed be. Drink lots of water. <laughs>